Hi, I'm Carrie Hiller Johnson with First Line Magazine and DVM 360, and I'm here at Western Veterinary Conference in Las Vegas. And today we're talking to Elisa Schaefer, who is the president elect of the Society for Veterinary Behavior Technicians, and she's also involved in the specialty organization. Tell me your role there, if you would. At the Academy of Veterinary Behavior Technicians, we have uh, seven members now. We just had our first uh, examination last year at AVMA, and we're about to have our second examination this year. Um, I'm on the board technically the just the website kind of supervisor right now so it's pretty exciting well we love websites of course <laughs> and so I, I hear you've had some questions maybe or some concern about the distinction between the society and the academy mm -hmm. could you tell me how those differ sure and um, we've had a lot of questions at our booth today about um, the society of veterinary behavior technicians if we're still in existence or whether we've morphed into the academy but the uh, society's not going anywhere we're still here for everyone um, you don't have to be a VTS in behavior to be a member um, it's there for technicians veterinary assistants anyone interested in behavior so we're there, we're strong, we're, um, we're not going anywhere. We've just now we have the addition of the Academy of Veterinary Behavior Technicians for our vet tech specialists, so we're pretty excited about that. And speaking of veterinary technicians and assistants, you are hoping to involve the ones who work in everyday general practice in anywhere America. Is mm -hmm. that true? Absolutely. We're here to, to tell people that you could be working in general private practice with your regular old veterinarian and still get the hours and experience you need for a VTS and behavior. It's, it's not as hard as it seems. Um, so we're, we're trying to get people to get active in the society so that they can get more behavior knowledge so that they can go ahead and go to the path for AVBT. And if there are people who are interested in behavior but maybe aren't quite right now ready to focus on getting the extra education, education the extra step, mm -hmm. what do you recommend for them to get more information about behavior and to get more involved? To get more involved, I would first become, of course, a member of FCBBT because we've got a great listserv where you, um, you can have colleagues from all over the country um, and other countries to go ahead and ask your questions, get some advice. Um, I would, all your CE could be behavior related because you've got to do that anyway. Might as well make it something new and exciting. Get started with puppy kindergarten at your clinics, you know. Socialization classes are not difficult to run. Um, there are people at the society that would be happy to help you start those and give you the knowledge to do that. Start to gain some experience that way. That's great. Thanks for your time and we hope that technicians and assistants out there get even more involved in behavior. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.